Get ready for the next battle. Lost it. I've lost lost the rhythm. I'm scared to go back to the uh let's do an analog stick run just for fun. <laughs> okay. Alright, that didn't count as an analog stick run. Neither did that. One more. Alright, yeah, okay. Analog stick is out of the question. Hello everyone, Toonie SA here. Uh, on my quest to defeat Wumpa Lewis's Platinum Time Relics. And uh, I've taken a few days off because I've been a little bit sick. Not sure if you can still hear it in my voice. Um, maybe there was something in the air from Toxic Waste, which is the level I'm about to do now. And funnily enough, just as I was setting up recording for this session, the man himself, Wumpa Lewis, joined the Discord. Uh, so it's great to have him involved um, as well. So if you've not joined the Discord yet, then uh, link will be in description. You can follow along with the series there. So yeah, Toxic Waste, this should be a barrel of lefts. And you'll see the weird sort of effect it's had on my crash. It's turned in blue to match the uh, flu that I've just been recovering from. Wumpa Lewis has a time on this level of 55.62. So that's what we're going to be trying to beat. This level is actually one of my favourite levels. It's a not... It's not a level that usually shows up very highly on people's um, lists of uh, favorite levels. I don't know why, I've just always liked this level. It is kind of like a corridor simulator like um, Road to Nowhere and High Road, but I just enjoy the barrel. And um, the, the level just does not like overstay its welcome. It's like the perfect length. It's not too long, not too short. We are without our mask already though. And something that someone showed me is you can actually see where the bouncy crates are going to hit based on the floor. There's like a few little dents on the floor and that's where the bouncy crates are going to hit. Which allows you to kind of judge where to go. We're on the big one now. Oh gosh, I got so close to the end there. One little hop too many though. That would have been amazing if I'd have beat um, his time in one attempt. Definitely more um, worried about the uh, high road, to be honest. Although there's not really that much time save in a level like this. Just because it's so short. The same could be said for like Cordex Power and whatnot. It's like just a straight line. There's not really a way to cut corners. You just gotta move as best as you can. Oh, didn't want to do that. Probably shouldn't have waited in the end. If I was gonna take a damage hit anyway. Might be uh, enough to make me lose. Oh, did not expect that TNT to blow up there. Whoops. Alright, attempt number three. That was an interesting interaction. Was not expecting that. They don't really have that many time crates on this level. It's like maybe four or five that I think. And uh, someone else can vouch for me, if anyone's ever watched The Great Mouse Detective, one of like, uh, I think it was Disney's movies. Um, the, the sort of like barrel throwers remind me of like the main villain of that um, franchise. Um, Rattican, I believe his name was. Got it correct that time. No! Messed up the jump there. What a waste of a run, literally. You could say I'm going to need to uh, ramp up my efforts. I'm sorry, I'm still a little bit sick. That's why my humor's dry. But yeah, um, I saw uh, this morning Lewis got a, got a uh, pretty good run on the lab. Um, so that's going to be a really big challenge. 
Um, luckily, he didn't beat the lab uh, platinum by like a crazy amount. So uh, I still have a chance. Like if he had beaten the lab's time by like more than a second, it just gets really, really hard. I'm talking like I know what I'm going to be doing on the lab. I don't. I'm going to have to like literally lab out what I'm going to do for that level. Right, are we going to beat him there? Okay, what's that? 52.85. That's plat. And he had 55.62. Okay, we did it. Not too bad. What was that, like four, three or four attempts? Okay, that was fine. We'll take that. Type in Toonie. Cheers. I'm on war at the moment. Alright, so yeah, high road. No way better to recover from an illness than to get high on the high road, for sure. Lewis has a time of 1 minute 4, 43. Um, you saw, if you've been following the series, you saw how poorly I did on Road to Nowhere. I'm not expecting good things from this level. Hey, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, of course. Okay. No, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. So, believe it or not, the whole of Road to Nowhere, um, I was using the analog stick. Um, I didn't really think far enough ahead that maybe, just maybe, one of the reasons why I'm falling off so easily on the ropes is because maybe I should use the D-pad. That way you can't put any accidental, like, inputs in. But... Also, also, um, I suck at using the D-pad because I'm just so unfamiliar with using it. I've been using analog the entire time. But yeah, if I can get consistent with running on the ropes, which is going to take, you know, a little bit of effort, um, this time should be a lot easier. It does feel a little bit cheap, but um, it comes with the risks. As you can see, you can still fall off, because the D-pad that I have, it's uh, not like the PlayStation 1. It's still kind of somewhat connected, so it's really easy to accidentally just nudge the other button by mistake. <laughs> Already at 10 attempts probably by now, just uh, on the first section. Come on. Alright. What I need, that's what I need to do. If I feel like I'm going to fall off, I just need to, you know, rescue myself. Not be, um... He didn't even jump, then. Not be too, um... Set in my ways that I must stay on here. If I feel like I'm going to fall off, like, just rescue myself. Like, there. I was about to fall, then. Because it's going to happen. It's really, really hard to... Maintain, um, forward on this D-pad. And only forward. Maybe I shouldn't jump. Maybe jumping's not helping. Let's just try holding forward. Nope. Alright. So, when you jump over that, it's going to go a little bit to the right. So, maybe jump... What was that? Alright. Let's try going over to the right. I used to like the right-hand side more. Let's pretend that's what's going wrong. That's nice. Alright, we'll take that. Back onto the rope again, straight off again. And then we'll play the level a little bit normally for a second. Over to the risky left side, over to the risky right side. <laughs> oh, that was going so well as well. I was about halfway through, well, not quite halfway, but I was nearly halfway through the level at that point, which is pretty, uh, pretty cool. And that's why I don't like going, like, the normal way. Look at that. You just can't judge those uh, single planks at all. Or at least I can't. I'm really, 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 really bored of these levels. No jumping. What did I say? Well, the attempt count is probably already at 20. So that's fun. Jump off. Jump on. Jump off. Barely make it. Alright. That's the spirit. On. Off. Jump. No problem. Good stuff. Good stuff. On. Off. Yes. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. I actually lost high. I was holding um, the jump button the whole time there, but I actually lost high on that second one for some reason. Come on. Come off. What am I doing? What am I doing? Over. That's fine. About to fall off again. Good save. If you can, like, hit the jump button just as you're about to fall off, you will, like, 90% of the time save yourself. I'm just not very good at anticipating when exactly I'm going to fall. Can be a little bit tricky. And also, holding the D-pad is so painful for your thumb. Right, over, 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 over. Ooh, scary, scary stuff. Over, jump. At least this is the last bridge level in the entire series. I never need to worry about it again once I'm past this one. Right. You, sir, have been a complete pain so far. But you are okay then. Can make this jump, no problem. Ooh, didn't know where that ball was going to go there. Over we go. Okay, so far so good. I haven't taken any risks. We are just over halfway through the level, I want to see. Good stuff. Oh, no. Oh, I can still reach it. Okay. No! That was the last stretch. I was actually going to beat him there. I was. I could feel it. That was the last stretch. Like, I just needed not to die there, and I would beat his time. So much went right there. Just every single jump I was nailing, except for that TNT threw me a little bit. Uh, composure all gone. Lost it. I've lost, lost the rhythm. Oh, but I'm scared to go back to the... Uh, Let's do an analog stick run just for fun. <laughs> okay. Alright, that didn't count as an analog stick run. Neither did that. One more. Alright, yeah, okay. Analog stick is out of the question. It's already leading to nothing but pain and misery. Over. It's dangerous. What was that? My controller just did not jump then. He barely raised himself. Yeah, like, he barely raised himself off the ground. I can't believe I wasted such a great opportunity earlier to get the run. It is, go it is gonna come. Everything's just gonna go right. Like, it did that one run, it's just gonna go right. And it's going to go right all the way to the end of the level next time. There we go. Delay. 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 Input delay. The input delay is absolutely incredible. And incredible in a terrible way. Like, it's never on my side. Like, literally, if I, home, if I hold my control too low, I just get delayed. Balls. Literally balls first into that pig's nose. Fucking hell. It doesn't help that like I literally can't have AC on otherwise it destroys my recording, so I literally melt to death whenever I do these. Ugh, water. Thank you, game, for giving me a real easy time with toxic waste. I can appreciate that, at least. You don't actually need to rope jump to uh, get past that turtle. Um, you can actually just make it, just about, if you jump at the right moment. 
What? What are you doing? I almost want to buy a PlayStation pad just so that ropes actually work. Because my D-pad is just atrocious. Seriously, I got the, like, the only level I've got decently angry at so far was the, um, the road to nowhere. And these levels just really piss me off. Optimism all gone. I would really prefer if you would be quiet. <laughs> but yes, you are correct. $10 from Dracu. The Tom B2 was my favorite childhood game, so I just had to get it for the first time. Thank you so much for the ride. Just get on, jump off as soon as you feel like you need to. Come on. Stop trying to... What was that? That is a very, very standard jump. What was that? My goodness gracious me. That's probably the most, like, PG rant you can ever go on. My goodness gracious me. Pip, pip, doodly doo. All that. Crash, I'm sorry, but this rope is going to turn into a noose as soon as we've done with this level. You are all over the shop, sir. Drunk, go home. Taxi! This is going well. This one's okay. I feel confident now. That was some good stuff. Right, one. Lost a bit of time there because I did a double bounce. Look how close that is. You almost need... You almost need the rope because the level itself is so fucking unstable. You actually do. Like, the, the level is just so unstable that the rope somehow feels like the safer option. And that is not how this level should feel at all. Right, we're not done left side for a while. Let's uh, go back to uh, let's go back to the hog's face. Sure. Down. You can you can tell immediately. You can tell as soon as you launch the jump whether or not you're just going to go swinging right off, and there's literally nothing you can do to correct it at that point. Because you're already in the air. Well, you might be thinking, oh, why didn't you just get good at the level normally like everybody else? No, thank you. I hate this level. I don't want to get good at it. It does not deserve my love and attention. Right, that was nice. Oof. Very nearly sold my soul to the devil there. Oh. No. 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 We're at, we've not been this far since, like, that really, really good run I had. So let's please just keep it that way. Nice. Didn't do a second bounce there. We are getting close to the end here. This is the final stretch. What's this? One, one, uh, one ninety-eight. What's that? Is that enough? It's plat. It's plat. One o four forty-three. Yes. The first time we finished the level, we actually beat him. I told you. I told you it was all gonna come together. Like just, you just need that one lucky run where the rope does not fuck you over, and that was it. 
To be fair, that ended up being easier than Road to Nowhere. And I think it was just because, it, despite me getting more angry in this one for sure, that being able to use the D-pad compared to the analog stick makes the ropes a bit more bearable. So, fun fact, after Toxic Waste, which ran smoothly on my recordings, I then moved on to the high road, and um, I beat Lewis's time. Um, as you can see here, 1 minute 98, whereas Wumpa Lewis's time is 1.04.43. But unfortunately, um, the commentary was really, really balked uh, in a lot of places. So, for viewership purposes, I'm redoing the higher road right now. I'm not trying to beat my time of 1 minute 98. I'm just going to do a replay of the level to beat Lewis's time of 104.43, just so I have something to show you guys with commentary. Um, so, yeah, this is it. Uh, I'm still sporing Blue Crash. He's got, um, he's got death. He's got his hypothermia skin on for the high road. And, yeah, if you're familiar with how poorly I did at Road to Nowhere, this should um, come as no surprise to you that I'm not very good at bridge levels. We've got to go the, uh, the whole hog. And uh, try our best, though, to uh, beat that time. Oh, no, okay. My attitude going into this level is toxic after wasting my time with that recording. So uh, we've got to take the high road here and, uh, you know, calm down a bit. Needless to say, I was very, very angry with my OBS when I saw the the, uh, the audio was poorly recorded like that. Wow. Yep. Okay, Hog. Take my balls, slapping you in the face all over again. You enjoyed it the first time in Road to Nowhere. You can uh, experience all of its glory on this level too. Um, you can at least be semi consistent. You know what? You, uh, you can't get triple Aku on this as far as I can remember. So you can eat my masks. Eat my shorts. So far, so good. Nearly, nearly, nearly jumped over the turtle there. Yeah, okay. Yep, so I got I got a slower time there, but at least um, you can see on video that I am actually able to uh, beat Lewis's time. You know what? Um, I said that I was only going to try and show you guys me beating Lewis's time again, but I'm not happy with that. I want to beat my own time now. I've changed my mind. Mainly, like, one of the reasons is because it took me quite a few attempts to beat um, Lewis's time the first time around, so it was, like, a lot of content lost. So beating it that quickly is a little bit anticlimactic, so just to give some extra content, I'm just going to go above and beyond beating Wumpa Lewis this time around, and I'm going to um, beat my own time. I know I said at the beginning of the video I wasn't going to, but I'll be honest, I was not expecting to beat um, Wumpa Lewis's uh, time again that quickly after how long it took me the first time around. Whoops. So yeah, let's go all out. Let's let's try and get, if possible, I'll be happy with uh, beating the minute mark. That's my target. I want to get sub one minute. That way I beat him like with enough conviction to also give the people that are trying to beat me something to worry about. In case you don't know their name... Uh, their names are Jormels and uh, Crashburn Flinch. Those two guys are both doing a series of their own right now. You can go and check them out. Uh, their series is not only trying to beat Wumpa Lewis, but trying to beat me beating Wumpa Lewis. Um, they're both doing it in a little bit of a different way. Crashburn Flinch is doing it in a way where he's just literally trying to beat my time. Whereas Jormel is trying to um, beat my time um, in the same amount of attempts it took me to beat Lewis's time. And he's been very honest with it, like when he doesn't achieve it, like he'll let you know immediately. Good so far. 
I don't know how well this is comparing to my other run. I really should make mental notes of like the... Um... Oh, that was looking good. You don't want to get that far in the run and die like that. That's just uh, a travesty. It really bloody sucks, though, when you're so used to using the analog stick, trying to go to D-pad. Like, I saw, obviously, a couple of videos with Wumpa Lewis and others complaining about their thumbs hurting. I can see why now. If you play this game with the D-pad, it is not pretty on your thumbs. It bloody hurts. And I forgot, like, when I was a kid and I used to play CTR all the time and I used to use D-pad like and you'd get like calluses on the side of your thumbs. Luckily there's not really that many levels I need to use the D-pad on. Like I can probably get away with the analog stick on most other levels. Good stuff. Okay. I don't know if I have any masks to lose. So that'll be uh that'd be a nice way to save me from death clearly. Yeah. Aku Aku like just like acts as like a jetpack and brings you back up to the uh, surface, screaming. <laughs> it's mad, right? You can use the rope to get really... No, no, no. We're not counting that. You can use the rope to get really, really far into a level without like really encountering any problems, or you can just die at the very, very start by just sliding immediately off. There's like no in-between. Here we go. Can't believe how quickly I beat um, his time again, though. It's just a shame I didn't get a faster time there and then. Whoops. But then again, I guess there wouldn't be this bonus content of me watching a hog lick thin air as I fall to my death. Many times. Just imagine, like, a group of native soldiers just, like, wading below the bridge and just seeing bandicoots falling down. Terrible. Wait, if you press pause like that, do you actually... I don't even know what happened then, I just immediately died. That was interesting. I'm not even sure I can account as attempt, an attempt because I have no idea what happened there. Just vanished. Yeah, alright. Like, um... He just decided to walk in a completely different direction. Scratch my... I... Get the hell off the rope. I guess, yeah, just... Maybe I should just not use the rope when I really don't have to. But the attempt where I actually beat Lewis the first time, I used the rope quite a lot. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Let's keep this up. Bang. 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 No. Yeah, I, I knew I was pushing my luck with that last one. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. The level's not really that slow if you have to go the normal way. It's just... I don't like dealing with the hogs and turtles. And the worst enemy for me on this level is neither of those. It's um, the single planks. I absolutely loathe the single plank jumps. I can never get the depth perception on them. There we go. Oh yeah, that was good. That was actually a nice bit, a little bit of a speed boost coming off the ice there because of the downward momentum. Times by X squared. Carry the two. We are going to beat it. We are going to sub one minute this level. Or my name ain't. This will be the day that you always remember. It's the day that you almost beat. We have Jack Sparrow. It's actually nice if the rope pushes you off in that particular direction because you have a small chance of recovering. If it takes you off to the left, though, you can't recover from that. You're just on a one-way trip to uh, Oblivion to see the adoring fan. Best game in the world, by the way. Right. You can't make that jump! That's too far! The jump is legit too far. That jump is actually too far to be a real jump.
All right, I'm gonna have to use the rope there. I know it's risky, because every time you use the rope, it's risky, but like, you've kind of got no choice there. The alternative is basically like putting yourself in the hands of um, Lady Luck. Look how far that jump is. Oh my gosh, both, uh, why am I talking about both ways of Lady Luck? That jump though, all right. You are worse than uh, anything else we've faced so far in the level. Do 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 do. Copyright strike me, Stuart Copeland. Right, strike that again. Okay. Now we're talking. Oosh. Oh, look at that save. That save was legendary. Now let's go and get a new best time after that. Gonna fall. I could feel it. Got off. Oh no! That was going so well. That's another really inconsistent thing. It's like, how far are the turtles going to let you bounce? Are they in a generous mood and they're going to get you right to where you need to be? Are they feeling a little bit like an asshole and just going to make you pull up short by like a centimeter? And then you ask yourself, Mr. Turtle, like why? Why did you, uh, why did you change your bounce? I believe it. Oh, this is your own fault, Tuna. You could have, like, rode off into the sunset. You could have submitted a video where you didn't speak, because no one wants to hear you anyway. Um, you could have submitted that video where I just beat him, right like, really quickly. But no, you gave yourself the additional challenge of beating this awful level in under a minute. Great, great stuff. Remind me to leave that in my App Store review of OBS. Force me to play the high road for a lot longer than I needed to, because that'll be fun. Remember how much you loved Road to Nowhere? Well, you're going to love this. It's, like, on your recommended list on Amazon. You may also like this shitty level. Really? Really? We're back to that. We're back to literal animal abuse. Twice in a row, nonetheless. Yeah, really, really good for your recovery, Toonie. Like, finish recovering from the flu. Go to the one place in the world that's going to make it worse. Literally a billion feet in the air. You got a jetpack as well, so like you could totally just like fly over this entire bridge. No, 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 no. We don't want to land on you. You're like the one guy that we actually want to leave intact. Oh, the hog. This is more like it. Yeah, this is this is this is really really enjoyable. We've only got slippery climbs still to come. That'll be fun. Oh, and what's that? We got fumbling in the dark. That'll be fun. The lab. Oh yeah, the lab. That'll be great. I think I'm gonna need to make more coffee. Wait, if I'm on the bridge, maybe I can clear that and jump at the three from behind. Will that save me any time? It might do. Cause I'm already on the correct side. Right. We are at the moment of doom. We have to clear that jump, followed by a really, really annoying hog. The paused? I, like, jumped in such a weird way there because the hog just, like, turned around and then just paused. Fuck's sake! I hate this level. I hate it. I want to know which William P. Spawn of Demon made this level. Come on, come on, come on. I really, really wish I could just like switch to like the analog stick in between sections. I may have to do a little bit of a thumb stretch after this attempt if I die. Right, my old friend. Yes, it went well for once. We got to a decent length of the level. Here we go. <laughs> Why would you jump that far, you absolute idiot? 
Why would you do that? You, you were like in the home stretch crash. We were about to make history. Right, come on. Don't mess up this momentum. This is good momentum. All right, hog. D-pad, you have you have four directions. Please explain to me how you can just slide off to the right like that. That was not even a small slide. You literally started walking completely to the right there. Just make the jump, please. Just get on the fucking rope. Get on the fucking rope, please. If you're going to mess me about, don't mess me about on bits that we've done a hundred times over. Jump. Straight off. Just get on there. Get off. Get on. Get off. Get on. Get off. Get up. Get down. Get in. Get out. Come on. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. We made that jump. We made that jump legitimately. Haters, sit down. Yes. This is going well again. The hog was in the good spot twice. All right. We got it. When the hogs are on that cycle, we know we're on to a good potential earth-shattering run. Mm -hmm. Earth-shattering in terms of my body slamming into the ground for the whole world to see. Haha! -ha. Oh, that did not save time because I got stuck. But, in theory, that should save me like half a second maybe. Maybe a whole second, if you can do it correctly. If you can get that three box as you're descending, um, you basically saved your cell. Also, how on earth are my shoes flying up through the bridge? I am literally falling kilometers to my death. Maybe not kilometers, maybe that's a bit of a stretch, but you know what I mean. Got to do my uh, three crate strat there. Bounce, baby. Bounce, baby. Why did I even do that jump? Like, you know, unless you do the jump really stupidly, you are always, always going to fall. Because that is a really stupid jump. It's a really stupid jump. It's like the... I don't know if you remember from the last video, the generator room jump. It's like that, where it's barely possible by doing the speedrunner strat of um, doing the fall jump. That's the only way you make that. Right, walk past Mr. Hog here. Alright, okay, we stayed on the rope the whole time. That is nice. That is very nice. That's even better. Right, do not throw this run away to something dumb here. Things have gone surprisingly well up until this point in the run. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. E. Oh my gosh, that wouldn't have been the run anyway. Like, uh, that, um, that would have hit about a 101 as well. The thing that messed me up there was that stupid bounce on one of the turtles. Not the last one, there was like literally a bounce that messed me up on one of the turtles, where like I had to like bounce on him twice. You can't be doing that. You can't be doing that. You can't be doing that either. Why did I set myself this stupid goal for sub one minute? I'll tell you why, because I know it's possible. And everyone will say, wow, what a run. You only had to waste like a few hours to get it done. Thing is, like, that little little second that you save there will be really useful if I cannot do what I did and lose it all again on that turtle. Like, that would have been the half a second difference between um, the minute mark. So that's how far I am off. What... The flying bandicoot was that. He just literally got stuck. Lost 
too much time there as well. Can't be doing that. Look at that. Trapeze artist. Then he just lost all of his talent at a vital moment. Fucking hit the clock, dude. Please, hit the clock. Well, that time I spammed the clock and it actually spammed the clock and then you fell off to your death anyway, because fuck you, that's why. It's actually crazy just how many things you need to go right on this level to compete for a uh, sub one minute time. You need so much like luck from the game's uh, consistency side of things. Look at that, look at that. That very nearly could have been in... That could have been really, really terrible. Right, you can make that jump consistently, so at least I'm a little bit safe there. Nearly did not make that. You get a little bit of hope, though, when you enter into this part of the level. It's not going to be enough. 158. We 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 are going to do this. What is that? Uh, that's a new personal best, though. Okay. I didn't even realize that was a new personal best. We are going to get sub one minute. We are. It's it's a half a second. It can be done. Can't be losing time like that. We can't be losing time like that. It's still possible. I lost maybe half a second. It is still possible to make that up. If just like some other good luck goes my way. That's why I'm still going here. There is a chance. That was interesting. I've never landed on the pole before. Very interesting. Never, ever, ever. Getting back together. Maybe we should stop. Oh, what is that? Why did I land on the turtle? I, I was not expecting that. How big is that guy's hitbox? an ungodly sized hitbox. Maybe you can skip that second turtle. Maybe I should take a risk at some point and just lab it, see if it's possible to skip that turtle. Ah, it turns out, yeah, I did need that extra second. I could make use of my Akus on those hogs and it'd be fast. But the thing is, because of the whole Babi Mamakikia, whenever you hit one of those hogs, the chances of you just like careening to your death straight after are quite high. Right, that saves time if you can avoid that turtle. Wait, yeah, that's another way I could potentially save time. Just uh, spin... What was that? I just don't expect the hitbox. That was a great run. You just don't expect the hitbox of that damn fucking turtle to extend that far. Oh, you see that? You're like, my thumb had to tilt so far on the right there. That Donald Trump could feel me tickling his buttons. Not even sure what that phrase means. Let's just lose the mask there, because what's the point? You can actually... Oh, you can actually make that jump, but it's to no avail. You can't... Right, well, I've labbed it now. You can make the jump, but it doesn't do anything. Because you you sort of suffer on the second bounce. Which is interesting. You, you don't chain, like, bounce momentum like I expected. Could have just ran on the rope. It would have saved time. Not sure why I got off it. Alright, that was a really good descending for... Uh, you just can't predict those fucking boars. You just can't predict them.
Oh, yes! Wait, fuck it! Fuck, yes! Fuck! Oh, fuck. Ah, fuck yes. Fuck yes. Fuck. Yes. Oh my gosh. My body should not be celebrating that much. It is absolutely in agony. 59.29. Sub. Sub one hour. Sub, sub one hour, sorry, fuck. Oh, wow, okay, my mind's frazzled. Sub one minute, we did it. We got a sub one minute time, so not only did we beat Wumpa Lewis's Platinum Rally Claire, we destroyed it by five seconds. Good luck to the two people that are trying to compete against me. That is going to be a time and a half to beat. I hope so. I hope that I don't make it sound like it's that impressive when you guys smash it in like 10 attempts. I want you guys to suffer for 40 minutes like I had to. But yeah, thanks for that, um, everyone. Uh, we defeated Wumpa Lewis on Toxic Waste and High Road today. Join the Discord, like, subscribe, get involved with the community. And next time we're going to be tackling Slippery Climb. See you on the next one. I did it again. It's that last thing. Again, if you get hit by them, it, it kind of throws you off a little bit. But the jump itself is fine. That was slow. Good. Where's this bit that I'm struggling at it? Struggling at? Is it just here? Okay. What is that? 55. See, I don't even know what that is. Oh, nice, nice. I actually want to check what that is because I did not know what that was. But uh, first try. Well, I think I've spent at least 20 minutes. By the way. Obviously, it's not in the video. Why would it be in the video? It's the what? It's like the the least entertaining content of all time. Just restarting that part. I swear, it's the hardest part. Now that I've been to the end of the level, that and the last part. And it's not a coincidence that both of them have a ice platform. But yeah, don't hit the TNT. I knew I would do it at some point. It's too easy to do it. I'm long jumping these. Is that bad? If I don't get plat when I finish level out, I'll, that's one way I'll stop doing it. I'm not gonna make that. Okay, 104, what is that? Oh, thank god we did it.